Hello, I'm Amanda Taylor. I have the site uh, Guide for Moms, also a YouTuber at Crazy Amanda Reacts. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Claudia. I'm Claudia Cross from Trendy Latina. And uh, I cannot even begin to say how excited I am to be here. I'm such a huge fan. So, <laughs> and, you know, I can wait to ask some questions. Yay. Nice you. to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Yes, we're very excited to be here. I, uh, I guess we can start by asking, you know, um, you know, tell us a little bit about your characters and maybe, you know, how you relate to them. Um, well, Fancy G is a huge global superstar. Um, she started young and she's definitely had some ups and downs in her career. And I think she finds like an arc moment in finding herself again, which is really important. I think we all have gone through that. Um, <laughs> uh, I could definitely relate <laughs> <laughs> her character in more ways than one. Um, and I think that she, she, she's a special person. And I think what I respect is that um, she's open to change. And once she gets to the place in her life where she realizes she kind of lost herself, she finds herself again you know, and, and she and she invites the help of other people around her. She accepts the help rather. So I thought that was kind of cool. So and I, I played, I also have, oh, sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Um, I played Jenny. I'm Fancy G's assistant. Um, and I relate to Jenny because, well, at first she's like really shy. Well, not necessarily shy, but she comes into her own throughout the movie, which I can relate to that because I feel like I found my voice more recently than later. Um, and so, yeah, she's a really cool assistant and she gets to be Fancy G's assistant, which is really exciting. Yes. Okay. So Ashanti, I have a question for you. Um, in a time where, you know, we're all looking and pursuing stronger relationships, what does the movie, what, what message in the movie brings to us as, as far as stronger relationships? Um, I think the movie speaks about several different relationships. I think it's important to continue the narrative of understanding that we all have flaws we're all not perfect, but it's so important to forgive. You know, we're living in a time where we're living through a pandemic. If it hasn't taught you anything, it, 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 I hope that it has taught people life is so precious and we don't have a lot of time here. So it's more about forgiving and recognizing what you've gone through and, and being able to change and, and keep the love, you know, and, and love yourself and to keep those relationships that are meant to be strong and strengthen them you know what I mean it's so important now like just having support love and family around you because there's so much evil going around you know so I think the film speaks volumes to just nurturing the good things in life thank you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> so I have a question for the two of you um the as you just said the story of the movie is about the power of music so how do you feel that message was reflected in a unique way in the movie? I think one of the moments for me is when Fancy finds herself in her story listening to Maya's song as a 15 year old. So when she's you know, singing and performing, Fancy kind of sees herself at a young 15 year old girl you know, at that age, like, oh my gosh, this was me. You know, this is where I need to get back to me. And I think it's really cool and important to understand that a teacher doesn't necessarily have to be someone older than you or someone in a, a, a physical field of teaching. You know, you could learn something from a 15 year old kid, you know, and I yeah. think the message is very important. So for her, she realized that she kind of got lost, you know, in the machine of the industry. And it took this 15 year old girl that entered a contest to kind of bring her back to who she really is. And I think that was really special and, and really important and music can do that. Yeah, I feel like that exact scene for Jenny, uh, for my character as well, um, like that scene, like for her, it was finding like that she was lost for me. I feel like it was that it 
was like, oh, this 15 year old girl can like speak well and like come into her own, like I could do that as well. Like I need to come into my own person and have my own voice as well. And so I feel like that's how that affected my character. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is for both of you too. Um, you just wrapped filming in a pandemic, you know? <laughs> so I wanna just know you know the obstacles, you know, that took place during this and maybe even a pandemic was very isolating, you know, so maybe how it helped you get through it. Um, for me, it was very different. You know, this is my ninth movie. So, you know, the mask over the makeup with the Uggs and the heavy coat, it's cold up here. You know what I mean? Like, it's like it was a scene every day, you know? So mm -hmm. not being able to see people's face and not hugging or giving someone a handshake is more of an elbow, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah. those, can, it, it really brought to life, like, guys, we're really living through a pandemic, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Things are like airborne and that's crazy. And we never, we never thought we would be dealing with this. So those things were ob obviously very, um, very different, very isolating. We couldn't have a rat party. <laughs> um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, it, it was just hard, you know, like, just adjusting to that it, it it made it like a little a little robotic you know what I mean mm -hmm. um and again it just made you appreciate I know for me I'm super super grateful you know to be still able to film during a pandemic you know what I mean we just had mm -hmm. to find a way to make it happen and, and have COVID tests two three times a week <laughs> yeah I would say the same thing honestly <laughs> So let's talk about something a little bit lighter. Let's talk about fun. Share one fun moment, one moment a moment that you will never forget. And that is for both of you, please. I saw a dance in front of the trailer the other day. I didn't know she could move like that. <laughs> you saw me in front of the trailer. I saw you did a TikTok or something. You were dancing and then they were I was dancing. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've been making TikToks on set a lot. <laughs> I think all of it was fun. Honestly, the whole entire experience was really fun. And I feel like we all bonded a lot. And the masks were a part of it. But me and Ashanti had ones that made us look, she even put on her story the other day, it made us look like scientists. So we could kind of still see each other's face. But like, I posted it was, yesterday, I'm like, we look like two scientists, like we're just in the lab. <laughs> literally but we, we were all safe and it was I feel like the whole thing was super fun so oh Tessa, wait I have oh. one memory that oh. one thing that I'm never gonna forget so I had foot surgery right and I have bad feet I hate wearing heels so the crew made me two custom boxes you know when you're short you have to stand on an apple box so they made me custom boxes and they bejeweled it and they put my nickname on it. It says Bon Bon. <laughs> so <laughs> big um, um, stones. One was black and gold and one was diamonds, like silver and gold. And they, I had two different apple boxes. It was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. But so cool and so helpful. So they would be like, go get a Shanti's box, the Bon Bon box. You know what I mean? And it was <laughs> like IP. So it was, that was, it made me feel super special. It was hilarious. I loved it. I've never had that done before. I love that. <laughs> That's a great story. <laughs> so Tessa, I mean, this is your first, you know, film, right? First yeah. film. And you're working with Ashanti. So I, I mean, that's pretty exciting. Who have I you know, learned? isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. So um, what have you learned from her? You know, I, I'm sure you and you played right under you were her assistant even in there. Mm -hmm. So things that you've learned from her through this experience? I mean, she's just super professional, very kind hearted. Um, you wouldn't expect she's a Shanti based on the way she acts, which is really cool. Um, and she's just really good at what she does. And I've been watching her, like I watched her movies growing up for sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, so it's, it's really cool. And I, I was super excited when I found out she was going to be on the project. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, you're right there. <laughs> And Ashanti, did you have any, you know, felt like any responsibility? Because, I mean, all the girls kind of were new to being behind the camera. I mean, did you feel like you had any responsibility to help them out? Or? 
I felt like I wanted them to feel as comfortable as possible. You know, just my natural personality is to be warm and bubbly and say hey to whoever it is from the president to the janitor. I treat everyone the same. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I felt, um, you know, there may have been, a, oh my gosh, it's Ashanti kind of vibe. But I think once I got there, everyone was probably like, oh, she's cool. She's, she's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So and I feel um, the girls, one of, one of the nights we were at, um, I forgot, we were at that hotel thingy, that building, and we were leaving, we were all leaving at the same time. And the honey girls, I heard them talking, they were behind me and they were like, she's so nice. I didn't know she was like <laughs> I was like, oh my God, they're so cute. But that, it, it affects people, you know what I mean? Like how yeah. you treat people, especially with them being young, you know, not excluding you, Tess, because they're 15. But, yeah. you know, it's important to make people around you feel comfortable. You know what I mean? Especially, you know, they have me up here, you know, for the lead, having to do all of this, have this responsibility. I want to make sure everyone feels comfortable and everyone feels important and special. And, you know, mm-hmm. we're all there to create something together, you know? So I wanted to make sure that everyone felt comfortable and, 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 and they had their best foot forward. Yeah. That's great. Well, I wanted to thank you so much for the honor of being here, talking with you guys. I cannot wait to see the movie and, you know, <laughs> share with everybody. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. It yes. looks old in your background. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be there. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Jersey, always snowing here. <laughs> Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us. It was a, a pleasure to talk to both of you. And thank my you. kids, listen, my kids are going to be jealous for both. They know Ashanti, <laughs> of course, and, and Tessa too. So <laughs> they, they're going to be excited to watch this. Thanks again. Tell them we say hi. Yes, <laughs> <absolutely>. <laughs>